Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Data. So a lot of people have been asking me about Ether Delta lately and how to use it and how to buy coins off of it. So one of the main reasons is because a couple days ago I made a video about Dragon Chain and it's actually up over uh, actually 100% since my video a couple days ago and it's still going up and a lot of people are asking how they can buy it and uh, exactly how to get an account set up on Ether Delta because that's the only exchange that's supporting it. So I'm gonna go over how to create an account with Ether Delta and um, how to create a wallet and buy and sell tokens. And uh, it's good for you know any ICOs. Um, after the ICOs are finished and the tokens are handed out and the coins usually appear on here. So it's always good to get the latest coins um, first and foremost before anyone else. So with that, let's get started. So. One of the uh, main wallets that I use with Ether Delta is MetaMask. For those who don't know, MetaMask is actually used exclusively for Google Chrome. So you have to be using Google Chrome and add it as an extension in order to use it. But uh, for those who don't have Google Chrome, then I'll go over another uh, website, My Ether Wallet, and that's where you can also create your own address and you don't have to have Google Chrome installed. So. MetaMask, uh, if you do install it, then it'll show up as an extension in the top right corner here. It's this little fox. And if you're not logged in, then when you get onto Ether Delta, a pop up will come up and it'll say log into your MetaMask account. And once you log in, then it looks like this. You know, it has your name, it has your deposit address, uh, your Ethereum deposit address, and make sure you have, you know, main Ethereum network selected up here. And then it'll show your orders and um, things that you've sent or transactions that you had. And then tokens, um, it'll show you how many tokens you have. Um, maybe you've gotten them from ICOs or you've bought them from here. So they'll show up over here and then you can buy more Ethereum if you need it for like gas cost and stuff, which is basically the cost of a transaction whenever you buy something or you're sending tokens. So always make sure you have at least uh, 0.04 or 0.05 Ethereum in your wallet to cover the gas cost because if you don't, then your transactions are gonna fail uh, whenever you try to buy something or, or send something. So always make sure to have enough Ethereum in your wallet to cover those uh, gas costs. So whenever you uh, log into your MetaMask account, then it should automatically um, sync with Ether Delta, and then you'll, and you can see my Ether, it has it right here, 0 0.041, and I have 0 0.041 Ether right here. Um, if it doesn't sync automatically, then you can click deposit, and then you can enter the amount of Ether to deposit, and then click that, and then it'll automatically pull it from your MetaMask to here. Now, um, again, if you don't have uh, Google Chrome or you don't use it, then you can go to My Ether Wallet. And whenever you first come into My Ether Wallet, uh, it's myetherwallet.com. Uh, you'll be able to create a new wallet. If you create a new wallet, it'll give you your wallet address and then a private key. So again, make sure you save that private key. Um, I believe you're also able to create a password as well. So um, so once you have that set up, then you're gonna click send ether and ether tokens. So once you click send ether and ether tokens, then um, Again, you can link this to MetaMask as well, but you're gonna click key store slash JSON file. Okay, once you click that, it'll bring up this page here to select your wallet file. So that's after you've already, you know, you created your new wallet and everything, you, and you'd select your wallet file wherever you saved it at in your computer, double click that, it'll ask you to enter your password, and then it'll log you into your wallet, and it'll look like this. So as you can see, this is my own Ether wallet, one that I created on here. And this is really useful because a lot of times ICOs, I believe Dragon Chain was under the same thing. Um, Dragon Chain actually, I believe it wasn't compatible with MetaMask or because um, it only required uh, things that were ERC-20 compliant. So you got to use you know something like my Ether wallet. So I had to create a own wallet on here and then um, I was able to you know get by the tokens from there but basically what you'll do here is this is where you have your wallet and then if you have tokens again you'll need to load them on here or you can add a custom token so for adding a custom token you click this button here and this is for any new token that you want to add so if it's dragon chain if it's uh, you know the Raiden uh, network token uh, in any new token from an ICO or anything um, you're going to want to add it so that it's compatible and uh, you can send things, send and buy them from, from there. So 
for the token contract address, um, if you want to add Dragon Chain on there, on their web, on their Twitter, they actually uh, put a tweet out that was on November 30th, and uh, this is whenever they sent the tokens out and everything, and this is so you could retrieve them and then add them on my Ether wallet. So token contract address, you would copy this here, then you would go back and you would paste it, and then token symbol, DRGN, they wrote it right here, and then decimals 18. So 18 and save. And so so here I already added dragons, so that's why it's giving me unable to add it with the same symbol as an existing custom token. So basically you put these, you click save, and then you would add your tokens. Now if it didn't show it, you would click load tokens, and they would have all the tokens that you have. So you can see I already have dragon here. So now if I click this down arrow, you see I have dragon or ethereum. Um, if I want to send some over to ether delta or something if I'm holding them. So with that, uh, once you have you know all that set up, then you're good to go. So have all that set up, go back to Ether Delta, and uh, if you want to trade Dragon Chain, then you would you know click DRGN here or whichever other coin you want. If you want to trade uh, Raiden, you know it's on, that's under RDN. It would be right here. Um, so just again, they have a lot of different coins on here, a lot of ICO coins. So um, you just click whichever one you want to click, and then you'll have the name under here, and then you'll have it under here. So you'll know it's the right coin you picked, and it'll be on top. So once you have all that set up, then the main thing to do is first you need to have enough ether to be able to buy, you know, the amount of coins you want to buy. So you'd make sure to load enough ether on here. So if you're on MetaMask, then you would just click buy and then you'd buy the correct amount of ether you wanna buy. And then you would just send it over to here. And you could, you could just click deposit. And again, put the amount to on deposit, click deposit and it'll automatically show up here. Or if you're on my ether wallet, then you could click you know buy ether with USD. And um, once you have the ether on here, then your address, you would uh, you would send it to Ether Delta here. So um, you would just click you know deposit, and this is a, a way you can actually import your My Ether Wallet onto Ether Delta. So you would click this down arrow here, and you would click Import Account, and it's going to ask for the address and then the private key. So that address. You go to my Ether wallet, and this is your, you know, account address here. So again, you would just, you know, copy this here, and then go to Ether Delta, and you know, import account, paste in the address there, and then private key, put in your private key, import account. So it link your account just like it's linking MetaMask. So then up here it should show, for example, on mine, I mm, gonna have 0 0.009 ETH on here. So it would show 0 0.009 ETH here. Now, if you don't want to uh, use MetaMask or My Ether Wallet, then you can always click this down arrow here and click New Account. It's going to create a whole new address for you and give you a private key. So again, there's three ways to do it. Um, pick whichever one's best for you. Personally, I like MetaMask. If you're not using that, I recommend Ether Wallet, My Ether Wallet. So either way it works really well. So once you have your accounts linked. Um, once you've sent you know the amount of ether tokens uh, to ether delta and you have your balance here then you're ready to buy the coins so the first thing you want to do is click down here and put the amount you want to buy now a good tip is um, you can see this order book right here and if you hover over the red it says click here to buy and then the green is click here to sell so this is the highest price that someone's willing to buy your coins at, and this is the lowest price that someone's willing to sell the coins at. So if you just want to do you know, a quick buy or sell, then here, click here to buy, and then it'll say amount to buy, and you know, 192, um, and then amount of ether it's gonna cost you, and the fee for your ether. So that's like the fee for the transaction cost, and you would click buy. And again, um, you, know, you can put a, a less amount, you know, if you wanna buy 70 or something, 
then it'll tell you the cost and such. Now, again, if you want to sell, you'd click there, amount to sell, ether, um, you're going to get, and then the fee. So basically, it's, um, yeah, this just shows you, it's just like a quick way to do it. But if you want to put in a specific amount, then, you know, amount to buy, let's just say you want to buy 2,000, uh, this populist coin. So 2,000 at a price, uh, let's just say point zero zero, you know, or point zero five seven. So point zero five seven, and it's that would cost you 114 ether, and then it says expires 10,000. So what this means is, um, this is the amount of block transactions. And then after this number of transactions occurs, it's going to expire your order. So to go to find out how much, how long a block transaction is, then you would go to um, bitinfocharts.com comparison ether confirmation time. So basically, you can just put in Ethereum block time uh, in Google, and it should bring up this website. But pretty much each block takes about. 15 seconds so this is in minutes so 0.25 is a quarter of a minute which is 15 seconds so each block only takes 15 seconds so for 10,000 uh, that's about 41 hours so it's about two days give or take so um, so at 10,000 you know it's gonna last for about two days before it automatically cancels and your order is no longer here but if you want to make it longer, then literally you can just type in, you know, like 10 million or something. And that way it's for, you know, 40 years. And so, I mean, that's not going to expire. So just increase this number. If you really, if you want to just put your order out there um, forever, you know, for however long and not cancel it within two days or so. And also whenever you put your order here, then it's going to show up in blue um, here. These are like the thing, the top 100 orders. So it's gonna show in blue here and you can kind of track it to see how far it is you know, from the center, which is the most uh, recent orders. So it'll show up in blue, easy way to track it. And if you wanna cancel it, then I believe you go to orders and you can click uh, you know, cancel right here. You can just cancel it. So uh, again, it's really basic. Uh, the only thing about this is it doesn't price match orders. So for example, say uh, you wanna buy a coin at four cents and currently the coin is trading at three cents. Well, if you put buy, you know, for four cents, it's not gonna automatically fill that order at the lowest price, so it'll buy it at three cents for you because it's cheaper. So you have to put, like, it'll wait till it gets to that amount, and then uh, if there's orders for it, then it'll fill. So keep that in mind, you know, just a little nuance because this isn't a total trading exchange. Um, it's just the basics, so keep that in mind. But once you buy your coins, then it's gonna show up um, in your wallet. So if you wanna transfer them, then what you have to do is first withdraw them. So you can click withdraw and you can put the amount of coins you have. So it's, let's just say in your wallet, it shows you have 30 of these populist coins. So you put in 30 and then you click withdraw. And it says use this to withdraw from the Ether Delta Smart contract to your personal Ethereum wallet. So if you click withdraw, then whatever wallet you have up here, it's gonna withdraw it to that wallet. And it's gonna show up either here, and it'll show up under tokens. Again, make sure you add the token. So if you're using uh, my Ether wallet, then you know make sure you added that custom token and you get that information from uh, the company. They'll tell you the token contract address, the symbol, and the decimals. Um, so make sure you add those tokens so that they show up right and it recognizes it in here so um, once you do that you know and then you withdraw then it'll have them in your ether wallet and then from there you can uh, you can transfer uh, you can transfer an amount of those tokens to a different address so if say you want to transfer them to like a uh, to bitrex or something if, if they're trading on bitrex exchange then you would just you know put in the amount of tokens so you had 30 and then you could transfer them to that address so I believe you have to withdraw them to your wallet first and then you can transfer them um, yeah use this transfer from your personal ethereum wallet to any other wallet so okay yeah so you first you have to withdraw it to your ethereum wallet and then after you withdraw it and it's in your ethereum wallet then you can transfer it 
from here um, to a different you know deposit address in Bittrex, Binance, or whichever other exchange it's on. So that's everything in a nutshell. Um, if you have more questions about how to use Ether Delta, you can click on, if you put in Ether Delta FAQ, then uh, click on this link right here, Ether Delta Guide for First Time Users. And again, they have questions here on Reddit over any anything you may have. Um, so it's just basic, you know, how to get started using MetaMask, how to get started without MetaMask, um, how to deposit, withdrawal, and transfer. So basically any questions you have, it lays it out in real good detail here. I looked over these, they're really helpful. So um, it's just a good guide, you know, breaks it down. But yeah, this is where a lot of people go to buy coins when they're first released from their ICO. Um, so, you know, Dragon Chain, I mean, when it released, you know, it was almost, uh, you know, six cents. So it released and then it spiked up um, already, you know, over 23 cents. And for my call, it's already up to 46 cents. So. This is a coin I've been looking at a lot, and right now, again, you can only get it on Ether Delta. So, um, yeah, you would just click it, you know, DRGN from here, and then it would show up here, and then you would just buy it with the steps I, I told you. So, um, if you have any questions, uh, please do leave them um, in the comments below. And one, one last thing I was gonna mention about gas costs. So, gas costs is a big thing why some transactions fail. Um, usually, the per the main reason for gas cost failing is that person doesn't have enough Ethereum uh, in their wallet to cover the transaction cost. So, if you're transferring a coin or you're buying a coin, then it's gonna, there's going to be a transaction cost for that, and you need to make sure in your own Ethereum wallet, make sure you have at least 0.04 to 0.05 Ethereum to cover that gas cost. And if you go to this website here. It's called ethgasstation.info, and this will tell you the going rate for gas costs right now, so the average cost. So you wanna put at least 41 here, um, and it'll take about 23 seconds, but you know, I recommend maybe putting 120 or 150, and it'll be a little more gas cost, but it'll happen instantaneously, so uh, you won't have to wait as long. And then you can you know, be guaranteed that your transaction won't fail. So again, just make sure you have enough theorem in your wallet, um, before you do any of those transactions because again they will fail so um, I found that my ether wallet is one of the easiest to use because they'll usually set the gas limit for you and it'll tell you in advance if it's gonna fail or not so it's really really simple um, you know it's it's helped me out a lot and it just made things a lot easier so I hope this video helped you all out um, I hope it wasn't too confusing uh, if it was you know please Leave some questions in the comments below. Um, you know, check out this Reddit on Ether Delta for these FAQs, these questions. And uh, till next time, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions, and please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See ya.